I wasn't actually expecting to like Hollywood Vice Squad. I only watched this because Carrie Fisher's in it and I'm watching all of her films and I, I don't have too many left to go. And I decided I'd choose this one next for no reason other than it was available. And the narrative didn't sound like it would appeal to me, but actually, having watched it, I liked bits of it. But the reason I like bits of it is because I'm one of those people, being a big film fan, who kind of worships Hollywood as a location. And we do get to see bits of Hollywood Boulevard and, you know, various other street names that I kind of recognise because I've been there once. And um, there were bits that I could kind of connect with in that sense. But the narrative itself, I didn't love still. So I'm kind of confused with how I feel about it. Because the bits that I liked about it, I guess are the bits that you're not meant to like. Well, you can like it if you want. But they're not saying, watch this film because it mentions Hollywood Boulevard. That's obviously not the way they're marketing the film. The actual narrative is about the very gritty side of Hollywood where we have prostitution and drugs and it focuses kind of on a mother who has gone to Hollywood to find her daughter because her daughter has obviously fled home. She doesn't quite believe that her daughter could possibly be in this darker side of Hollywood, but the police there, the vice squad, um, start to investigate this and we also have various other things going on as well with uh, undercover work um, and it's it is it's very gritty and very dramatic and it's fine it's still not I'm not going to pretend that I absolutely loved every second of it and that it really spoke to me and that I loved the characters because I didn't really care I quite liked Carrie Fisher's character and she plays Betty, not just because it's Carrie Fisher but because she's a woman very much operating in a man's world let's you know, be mindful that this was 1986 and she's determined to make her own way and to do things and get results even when a lot of her male colleagues are at least one in particular are not very kind to her and kind of treading on her toes and getting in the way of her territory and um, not that all of her ways of doing things are always going to be the best ways but she's definitely a very headstrong individual who is trying to show that women can you know, be as powerful as men and get results in the same way or in their own way. But so that side of it, I thought, yeah, I quite like Carrie Fisher's character. There were bits where I liked it, even when she wasn't in it, which is not what I expected. So I have to say there were bits that I enjoyed. But that being said, based on what I said before, had this been set literally anywhere else in any other state or even any other part of California, I probably wouldn't have cared as much. And I realised that that's not the reason to like this film. I should like it for, I don't know, the, I mean, it, it was well shot. We definitely had a lot of car chases and some pretty dramatic car scenes, which were, you know, pleasant enough. It's not my favourite kind of, um, I'm not the biggest fan of that kind of action, but it was well done in parts. Um, it's very dramatic. There's not as much yelling and shouting as I had expected, which is a good thing, as I often feel these kinds of films are very loud. But it wasn't that bad. So there were bits that I thought, yeah, it worked quite well. They got a good balance. It was definitely eventful. A lot happens in a very short space of time. It's about an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes. And it does pack a lot in. But that also means there are a lot of characters. And you have to kind of pay full attention to keep up with, you know, who's connected to whom and what their roles are. And, you know, that side of it I just didn't care about. I wasn't that bothered about the characters. I also didn't care about the daughter. Um, the mother I liked. The mother was obviously a very nice character um, who wouldn't believe that her daughter would be involved in the, the seedy, gritty side of of life at all. Um, she's probably the only character who was like that in the whole thing. It wasn't bad is what I'm trying to say. I, as you can tell, I have very kind of scattered thoughts about this. Ultimately, Carrie Fisher was good. Her character was good. The film had bits that appealed to me, but the bits that appealed to me are not the things that were used to market the film. I mean, Hollywood's in the title, but in reality, it could have been set almost anywhere. And it could have been any story about any daughter going to a big city and, and getting caught up in the, the darker, grittier aspects of, of big city life. I didn't mind it. I won't be watching it again. But if it sounds like your kind of film... I think there are bits in it that kind of worked okay. It's directed by Penelope Spheris, written by Kenneth Peters. Not the best film I've ever seen because it's not to my taste. 
but there were also some good things about it. For, for reference, it's got 4.7 out of 10 on IMDb, which is quite a low rating. Lower than I was expecting, actually, and maybe lower than I would have given it. So I definitely had a very unexpected experience with it. Hollywood Vice Squad may not be my favourite film, but it wasn't as bad as I thought.